Band directors, is your shoulder killing you while you conduct? Well, first, you need to make sure that you might have to let go of a little bit of technique and pedagogy in conducting and use your elbow, your hinge joint more. When you reach your arm out in space in front of you, that puts a lot of demand on your rotator cuff. These are small muscles on the back side of your shoulder. They're not made to handle as much demand as you probably go through during long rehearsals. So first, tweak your technique. Second, make sure you raise your music stand up and you're not bending too far forward. If you're rounding your spine forward, you're actually decreasing the mobility of your shoulder blade, your scapula, and potentially putting yourself in an impinging or pinching position between your humerus right here, your arm bone, and the glenoid or the socket that your arm bone sits in. So we don't want to cause pinching based on your position. Make sure you're up tall, might even have to raise the stand, then stand tall after you've used your hinge joint and you have changed the height of your podium. The next things are to start some of these rotator cuff exercises. Before a long rehearsal, make sure that you use something like a light resistance band to help you warm up your shoulders and rotator cuff muscles. The first exercise is going to be called external rotation. We're rotating our arms externally or apart, outward. We're gonna go through nice and easy rotations here, and we wanna work up until you can do sets of 25 to 30 of these pain-free. I want you working into three to four sets as well so you really build strength in these rotator cuff muscles. You do a lot of movements when you conduct. There's a lot of counts that you have to get through. We want to make your shoulders be able to handle that quantity of counts. The next exercise after external rotations is a pull apart or a reverse fly. Shoulder blades go back and down, chest stays tall. We're pulling it apart, keeping your arms straight and having thumbs up, never thumbs down. That's actually an impinging position. So keep the thumbs up as you do this. 